This video, what we're going to do is we're going to re uh, calculate our required our RPM to arrive at a port uh, at a, uh, uh, a time of our choosing. So what we're given in this problem is, is they're saying, look, in order our speed of advance, okay, that we're required to arrive to our, our port on time is going to be 15.7 knots. Okay, so that's our distance divided by our allotted time. And they give us our propeller pitch, which is 23.4 feet. And they give us our slip. So with this, we can calculate our efficiency. Okay, so we have all the elements that we need to actually calculate what should we set our RPM at. Okay, so if we know that we want to make 15.7 knots and we know that uh, we're having, uh, actually, we're, we're, we're performing pretty good. By a negative slip, we have a little bit of wind or current behind us. So we're doing better um, than... Uh, uh, we're feeling pretty good about ourselves. Let's just put it that way, okay? Uh, we, we're actually gaining. We're not losing uh, on our slip. But uh, the question is, what should we set the RPM to? So we're going to, uh, to do this, what we're going to do is, is I'm going to use the speed of advance formula. And then once I've got the speed of advance formula, I'm going to solve it for RPM. So let's just do that first, okay? I want to remind you that speed of advance is in knots. And knots are nautical miles per hour. Okay, so that's so. What is that formula though? That formula for speed of advance is our theoretical engine speed times our efficiency. Okay, all right. Uh, now, if I was to expand that formula out, I would say that our speed of advance, if I'm going to expand this, is going to uh, engine speed is going to be pitch times RPM times 60. That's a conversion factor to go from minutes to hours. Divided by 60, 80, that's a conversion factor to go from feet to minutes, uh, feet to miles. Uh, and then that's going to be multiplied by 1 minus the slip, okay? Because that's what efficiency is. So now I have this formula, and I've got, uh, but there, I'm going to be given speed of advance. That, in this case, is 15.7. I'm going to be given pitch, which in this case is 23.4. I'm looking for R. I'm given this. Uh, these are just conversion factors that I know, and then 1 minus slip. So I have to solve this formula for R, okay? So solve for RPM, okay? So I'm going to do that up here, all right? So I'm going to want this to start off with RPM equals. Okay, so RPM is going to equal. So I got to get this uh, 6080 out of here. So uh, I'm going to start off with RPM is speed of advance times both sides by 6080. That got rid of the 6080. Now I got to divide both sides by pitch. That gets rid of the pitch on this side. It pops up on this side. I got to divide both sides by 60. Okay, and I have to divide both sides by my efficiency. So this is the new formula. Okay, it's the same formula. I just rearranged it. So RPM is going to be speed of advance times the uh, 6080 conversion factor divided by pitch times 60, uh, which is the the um, another conversion factor one minus slip. So now it's just substitution. So our speed of advance is 15.7. That's nautical miles per hour times 6080. That's a conversion factor. That's 6080 uh, feet per nautical mile. And you can see the nautical miles cancel out. Now I'm going to divide by pitch. Uh, that's 23.4 feet. But it's not just 23.4 feet. It's feet per revolution. Okay. And that's, I'm going to need that because I'm going to have revolution. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to multiply that by 60 minutes per hour. And no, those two hours cancel out. So now, uh, and the feet cancel out between the numerator and denominator. So now I've got minutes per revolution. And those are the units I'm going to want because it's one over minutes per revolution, which when I do everything is going to flip over to revolution per minute. And the last thing I need is to put my uh, performance in, which is one minus my slip is... 0 0.06 okay i convert that to uh from a uh, percent to a uh a number okay by dividing by 100 but it's not just six percent it's negative six percent so it's negative so one minus negative 0 0.06 that's going to become 1.06 okay uh all right um so great when i take 15 multiply it by 6080 
And I divide that by 23.4, divide that by 60, divide that by 1.06. When I do all that math, you should end up with an RPM, which equals 64.1 revolutions per minute. That's the solution to that problem right there.